Welcome back to Daybreak. Your time is 622. Our state's power outage disaster quickly transitioned into a water crisis with the boil water notice still in effect for many parts of Austin. Thousands of us are still in need of safe drinking water. Turns out a beautiful facility has water in abundance and they're working hard to get clean bottled water to the community. And with us today we have Heartwater co-founders Michael and Yolana Dadashi. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us, Yvonne. All right, so tell us about your company and what you provide. So yes, Heartwater is a locally and sustainably sourced rainwater company. And really the beautiful thing about our company is that we're a decentralized water source. So when the power outages hit and the water crisis hit the city, our, our company was completely unaffected because we're not connected to the city's water source. We're completely off the grid. So you mentioned you all were unaffected by this freeze. You have hundreds of thousands of gallons in reserve right now. Yes, we do. And we've been providing water to the city and providing water to hospitals and charities around the community. You mentioned Dell Children's. What are some of the places that you've gone uh, with, with by tankfuls, right? You've taken your trucks out and delivered that water by tankfuls. Yes, we've gotten water to the convention center. We've gotten water to Dell Children's Hospital. We got some water to Eames ISD. We've gotten some water to some other local drug and alcohol treatment centers that had patients sheltered in place. And just really other local charities, Meals on Wheels. We, we went and did a drop yesterday. So we're just trying to get water to anybody who, who has need for drinking water, which is really the whole city right now. With so many of us being affected, you have to start thinking, okay, I need to think ahead. I need to start thinking about other resources, especially considering so many people did not have drinkable water. So this definitely kind of kind of makes us think about other resources. We could tap into other other resources for water. And this is something that you all have been touting all along. Percent, And that's the reason my that that we that we got involved you know, with rainwater from the beginning because we wanted a decentralized, sustainable source of water that had a give back element to it. And Yolanda, you all have been able to help people all year long during the pandemic as well, right? Absolutely. We were um, set to launch, actually. We're a startup company. We were set to launch at South by Southwest last year. And of course, that was canceled due to coronavirus. And so all of the products that we had set aside for our initial launch was then donated to our frontline workers. And um, it's just been incredible. It's been a very different sort of uh, launch for Heartwater, but it's been incredible to be able to give back and provide clean drinking water to the people who really need it. If someone is watching this before we go, someone's watching, they need your help, where do they go to get this water? have a contact submission form. Um, our website is drinkheartwater.com and uh, we do have an Instagram page and Facebook page where they can contact us as well. Thank you both for the amazing work that you're doing to help out our community. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us.